guys welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video bad breath there are tons of you out there walking around with bad breath not knowing that there are simple homemade remedies that you can use to get rid of your bad breath the holidays are happening us and I'm sure you want to go out there to socialize you want to go to that office party you want to just mingle with your friends and your family and feel good and feel confident well in this video I have a quick and easy solution for you this is gonna help to get rid of that bad breath in no time so if you're interested in today's video continue watching Bad breath is caused by odor producing bacteria that grow in the mouth. When you don't brush or floss regularly, bacteria accumulates and the bits of food left in your mouth and between your teeth. The sulfur compounds released by these bacteria make your breath smell. Our first ingredient is parsley. And take a look at the parsley leaves parsley leaves have chlorophyll in it and the chlorophyll is going to be used as a deodorizer to get rid of your bad breath using parsley leaves can freshen your breath you can also just choose to chew some parsley leaves rinse your mouth and it's definitely going to help to freshen your breath our second ingredient is lemon and the citric acid stimulate saliva production and fight off bad breath. You can also make a lemon rinse by adding a tablespoon of lemon juice to water and rinse your mouth. Now, when I mix this lemon and parsley together, it's going to create a more powerful remedy for getting rid of your bad breath. Our next ingredient is anise seeds. These have a wonderful fragrance. And take a look at aniseed up close. Aniseed is known to eliminate the bacteria in your mouth that causes bad breath. Chewing on some aniseed will also help to get rid of the bad smell as it tastes like licorice. Therefore, you will have a licorice flavor. You can also choose to boil the aniseeds and just goggle your mouth with it. Just rinse your mouth with it and it's definitely going to help to freshen your breath. Now, cloves is also another wonderful ingredient for freshening that bread. You can choose to just chew or suck in a few cloves and that's going to help to get rid of your bad bread. Cloves is also known to get rid of the bacteria in your mouth that causes tooth decay. Now for this recipe, you are going to need a pot since we are going to be boiling some of this ingredient. You're also going to need a grater. You're also going to need a jar, preferably a glass jar for storing your mixture. Now I'm going to use one tablespoon of our star anise. A tablespoon. We're going to add that to the pot. And for our cloves, we're going to use about 12 of the cloves, about a dozen of the head, depending on the size. We're going to add that to the pot. And next, I'm going to add two cups of water. And I'm going to put this on the stove and I'm going to boil this for about 10 minutes. Now after boiling, it's going to boil down and this is what it should look like. It's definitely going to smell really, really wonderful. Now you're going to set this aside to cool. Set it aside overnight if you choose to cool down. And then we're going to move on to the next step. Now once the anise and clove water has been cooled, you're next going to strain. And here we have the clove and anise water. Now we're going to move on to the next step, which is to add the other two ingredients. Now here we have our lemon and we're going to remove the zest. We're not going to waste this lemon. We're using everything 
We need about a teaspoon of lemon zest. So we're going to get this off. And here we have about a teaspoon of lemon zest. So next, we're going to do some blending. So we're going to add our lemon zest to our blender. Next, we're going to add a small bunch of parsley. Just use your discretion for this. And we're going to take our anise and clove water and we're going to pour this in the blender. We're going to cover. And we're going to blend. Now, after blending, and this is some leftover star anise and cloves. I don't want to waste it, so you can just add it since the blender was small. This is what your mouthwash looks like after blending. And now we're going to strain this a second time. Next, we're going to reach for our lemon. And I'm using one medium lemon here. You can choose to add more lemon juice if you wish. And we're just going to squeeze the lemon juice. Get rid of the seeds and give it a stir. And now your mouthwash is ready. To store, just take a jar of your choice and just pour it in. And here you have your mouthwash for getting rid of bad breath. You can store this in your refrigerator for up to seven days. It's going to keep fresh. Now use this twice per day, a.m. and p.m. for best result. To use this, you're going to take a small amount, probably about a quarter cup, and you're going to use it to rinse your mouth. You're going to guaggle, 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 and then you're going to spit out. After spit it out, continue by brushing your Feet. You want to do this, as I said before, at least twice per day for best result. Now, after using this, the very first time, you're going to notice a big difference with your breath. With continuous use of this mouthwash, you're going to notice that your bad breath is gone. Just use it on a regular for maintenance after you get rid of your bad breath, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share the video and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, guess what? Look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.